Ooh, hello everyone. How are you? Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, so yeah, I decided to do something today I, after seeing some concerns uh, expressed by his name, I believe, is uh, Connor Moran on YouTube the, on the this specific match. Uh, so it's the sound effects one. So there's actually no commentary, unfortunately. Um, but it's the World Cup 2020, and it's the semifinals, I believe, Dynasty versus Impact, and Damage versus X Factor. So I know there's four teams there, all you non-competitive paintball people that don't know. Um, so there's four teams playing at once. So that would mean that the first one actually, which I skipped through, but that was uh, Dynasty versus Impact, and then this match, Damage versus X Factor. So this year, 2020, World Cup, I was playing with San Antonio X Factor, and this is the first point versus Tampa Bay Damage. Uh, so some of the concerns that Connor was expressing was, uh, one of them was he, 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 cannot, he cannot really understand what was going on or where people are shooting. Um, and Connor kind of mentioned that it was chaotic. Uh, it's actually, in my opinion, not chaotic, especially hopefully you guys will think the same thing. Connor, you as well. Once you kind of understand as far as a breakdown of what that would look like. Okay. So, first point. So there's damage here, there's an X-Factor here. As you can see, damage just got a penalty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back over that a little bit so you're gonna understand. Okay. So as you can see, this guy on, on damage's end, he actually received a, a penalty. It's actually a yellow flag, a minor, okay? So with that minor penalty, it pulled another guy. So when you get a minor penalty, which is an obvious hit, uh, you got hit in the pack, right? The finger went on your back. So he got hit in that, didn't know, so kept, he, he kept playing, okay? And since you know that occurred, this guy got pulled out of that uh, cam-like structure, okay? But I'm gonna go back over and show, from my point of view, just for one player, it's, it's, it's a lot simplified that way, of kind of what I was doing and how this situation occurred because of that, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's get a little while. All right, so here's me right here, number 40. Okay, so I'm lined up on that first player that got shot, right? He was going on the my left side of the field, which is the snake side of the field, okay? So I'm right here lined up on the edge of the start box, okay? So I'm as far back as I can be, and the reason, I'll explain that, why I'm so far back and why I'm so tall shooting, right? So basically what I'm doing is drop shooting my paint, right? Because the paint bowl, yes, if it flies straight, but at a certain point it's gonna have a, it's gonna, lose its trajectory and start to go down, okay? So with that, I'm able to get the first elimination on the play that we were talking about before, okay? And yeah, so let me, let me show that, kind of what I'm doing, how I'm shooting. Got shot off the break, but he doesn't feel it. Okay? So then gets pulled and then gets a minor. Which basically turns into a five on three, right? Five on five, that turned into a five on three. So I see that, I come here, I see the cut off that side. And then it's just, I mean, obviously a pretty quick. Pretty quick win after that, right? Especially when you get immediately two quick kills. Okay. So let's get to this next point. So <clears throat> we shoot, we shoot that player going that way. Okay. So we're kind of in the driver's seat at this point, especially in the semifinals. The last thing you want to do is lose a body, especially lose a body and then get pulled and you get a minor, right? Because it's five on three. Um, but on this specific field layout, it's very, very difficult to play paintball, right, to, comp to you know, uh, to it all be, um, how would I say, 
any sort of a threat if, by any means. If you cannot get past this, you can see right here, this can like that. Which is right here. Okay? This can right here, as you can see here's a star box. It's obviously on the flip end. But okay, so once if, if you can't make it past this can, right? So this guy was going this right here to this spot on the opposite end. The field is mirrored, so it's exactly the same on the opposite side. So he was just going to this spot right here. So if you get shot going here, you know, that you either have to come tighten it up and play in this spot, which is very uncomfortable, right? It's like a soda can looking thing, which would mean you'd probably have to double that up, meaning two players would have to play this tight of a spot, um, kind of just wedged in there. But the worst part would be, right, these guys would be out wide. It's the worst thing, because that's what paintball is about, right? You want to get wide, you want to get like this. You want to get wide, and then come down the field like this. Because if this guy gets wide and I'm out here, I'm just basically pinched out by him, right? So what we need, what you need to do is basically get wide so you, you kind of are matched up in line instead of them out wide, and you're kind of like this, right? So they're gonna do anything they can. So what I'm trying to say is they're gonna do anything they can to get past this can on the initial breakout, it's called, yeah? So now that we're kind of in control after we shoot that first body, that I, I, I basically, what I'm the one and Rick, my other teammate here, but I'm, we're kind of in the driver's seat at this point, so they have to either go here again, or they just got shot, or go to this corner, basically. And they don't want to go to the, the snake, which is past this. They probably, so we're thinking they probably want to go to the corner, right? So, We switch sides, so you guys know. <laughs> so here's me on that opposite end, again, shooting that way. Okay. Yeah, pull again, yeah? So now look, see what I mean? So we're out by, they're here. So they're in the bottle, you know, bottleneck basically, in the pocket. And then so we have basically complete control at this point. Again, so it's just a Another really quick point. Now all we want to do is just lock off this zone, lock off this zone so they just can't get wide, so we control that outside, you know, rather control, right? So again, just another quick point. See what I mean with us getting wide here? Let me go back a little bit. Okay. Right? Right here, right? So, again, so this is kind of just giving a, a, a visual for you with what I was talking about as far as getting wide and wrap it. It's called wrapping, right? So you're wrapping around this spot. As you can tell, we shot this entire side right here. So we isolated that entire zone, yeah? So it's gonna be a lot easier for us now to, again, get that outside containment and outside angle on you know, the opposing teams, especially because you know, they're, what, over here and over here or something like that? So, yeah, as you can tell, the player, Randy Sanzek, took, took, you know, made the right move, took his time with control, and got out to here. And then he's just basically going to utilize that outside uh, real estate and just do what he needs to do. And just so at this point, the other team is basically just waiting to die, just trying to see if they can get some crazy randomness to happen. But. Yeah, so as you can tell, it's just a quick point after that, as long as. As long as our side stays alive, the other, the other opposite end of the snake side, which was you know, the Dorito side, as long as we can have them just stay alive, then we're pretty much good at that point. Okay, so let me go over it again. So first point, we shot them going to that 
Aztec, right? So it was past that, that can, right? So they, they attempted to get to that spot, yeah? And then we, we got that elimination. We got a minor penalty, that's five on three. So we, you know, basically what, what side we're winning on is we're winning because we're shooting that side, right? Um, and then it's point two. Again, they, they're gonna try and push the issue. They need to get it wide. That's, that's, a, that's a major, major, major uh, necessary you know, move to make to get that real estate, okay? So they go out to that corner now and we shoot that same exact shot, get that same exact kill, okay? And now, so we've, we've, cut, we've shot them now twice. Basically, that was, you know, it's two to zero now because we've gotten those eliminations. They're very, very key eliminations. Um, so we've gotten those first two points because of those two kills, yeah? And so now third point, after we've shot them both times, they're gonna probably try and, you know, just bring it in. Uh, you know, you'd assume, right? Especially this is kind of this is kind of going over what I'm saying. It's, we're in the driver's seat at this point. We're controlling. We're acting. They're reacting to us, right? So they're they're having to play to our game in a sense. Okay. So again, we're a step ahead. So they're probably not going to go wide anymore, right? They're probably going to do something different to not lose those key bodies, right? So, me, myself, and my team knowing that, right, instead of bringing our guns out wide for that wide kill, now we're going to bring it in because the only way, the only really possibility to win this point is to somehow finesse and do something different up in either the middle or try to get some eliminations by doubling up in the can, like I was mentioning, right? So, what, you know, I guess from my point of view, I have that inside cut, right, because I'm more outside. So I have a more of an angle on the inside cut. So I come off shooting. Let me show you here. Okay. As you can tell here, right? So we got three guns up. All right, we're back. One, two, three. Two kills, right? It's a meaty. Let me show it one more time. You can see it real quick, ready? Bomb, bomb. Two, so it's five on three. One, two, right? So yes, we, this guy did make it alive, but they lost two key players. So, again, this is another quick point. So you have an understanding there, okay? So now we're up three to zero. Three to zero. Just by having those real quick off the break shots, getting those key eliminations, and basically getting the kills on the spots that were the safety spots. That's what you know I like to look for at least is I like to look for the the, especially when a field that comes out, right? Field that that comes out before an event or five events in the year. There's uh, two weekends prior to those events that a layout comes out because each layout is different. So each one has different angles, different shots. So what I like to, what I look for is I look for where those uh, safety spots would be for those five bodies to kind of just make it alive and just play five on five. Because on Sunday especially, that's what you kind of just draw back to is just making those spots alive and just beating the team heads up five on five. Um, it's a lot harder to play five with paintball when it's not you know, five on five. It's a lot harder when you lose one or two bodies, right? Um, so what I look for is those safety spots and how to cause chaos and mess that up. Because the more that you can do that, the more you're causing, again, chaos and, again, them to react to you, right? So that means you're a step ahead and they have to just basically play catch up the entire match. And that's not where you want to be, right? Uh, so this point is a little different. They adjust, they adjust well. Uh, so the guys on, so the guys on damage, it's three to zero at this point, so they need to adjust. And so what they do is they put uh, one or two guns, just one really strong gun basically, just right off the gate, 
and he's lined up with me on the same exact side. And he just lines up the gate and just only shoots at me. And again, so I'm shooting this way, but I see him in my, you know, in my peripheral vision that he's, you know, basically just boxed up straight shooting at me. So what it does is it kind of just throws off my focus because I need to get in my spot alive. So <clears throat> they're able to make that spot because, you know, because of that move. Right now. What they do is what they do is then they just they just what they do is basically they just do a good job of yes doubling up that can like I was talking about but really zoning up and getting a kill off the break which is the snake side guy. So they do here right they line up they do get a, sh a shot off of this guy so it's five on four see the rep pointing right so that makes it a lot easier for this guy because now they're lined up and then this player gets eliminated. I see that here, right? So I keep my eyes on it. This guy keeps around, right? He makes a good move here, but he doesn't see me go to the corner. So when I go to the corner, and if you watch the ref, boom, I eliminate him because of that move. And then, so the member's got a nice, give me a nice taste of that. So now it's three to one, but uh, again, so, what they did, shortened it up, and really focused on that wide kill, that snake side kill. Okay, so they put a couple guns that way, which is Billy Bernacci on X Factor, my team, at that point. And so they, they do get that kill on that guy, right? And then immediately they, they look, they're mirrored up. So Keith Brown, the guy, he's, he's mirrored up with the other player in the can. They get that kill, and then immediately when they get that kill, they just go for a quick run into that. 50 snake to try and take a take that wide real estate to again wrap and get that outside containment because you know they got those kills real quick that there's only a small window that they can take advantage of that they do a good job of getting there but I see that and then I come all the way out to the corner so I'll pick it up so I come all the way out to the corner okay so the player thinks that he has all of this to himself right because I was over here so he's crawling up crawling up crawling up and then he's looking to basically come around and get the kill on me, but little does he know, I'm out here, right? Because I make that wide read and come out and shoot him. And then, unfortunately, I get that kill, and I'm, I'm just basically, again, wrapping, getting that outside containment, not thinking that a player is just gonna all of a sudden run through the middle real quick. But it was a good move, and he made me wear it. 